Yum, yum. Ah, uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name's Chris. Uh, we're going to start the next part of this little series, uh, getting this deformed eyeball and lid weight mapped. Really, just the uh, eyelid needs some weight maps, right? All right, we got our deformer here, which is working as expected. All right, it's working pretty good. Everything's working okay. All right, I've got this thing down here. Everything follows directions pretty well. All right, but what we need to do is get this thing set up for some weight maps. Uh, what you'll see is for one, uh, let's get this thing ready. I'm gonna need this. I need the tool properties. Let's get my lists open. I like to see that stuff. This is everything that's right in here that you could see. Uh, let's see. Well, what else do we need? Uh, let's turn, let's split this. A couple looks. All right now, this one, we don't need the locators. So I'll turn those things off. We're just going to look at this. Probably just, uh, let's go left. Nice straight on side, side view, right? Now, same thing here. We really don't need to be looking at any of this stuff for right now. So what I'm going to do and these two, I believe it's this one and this one go to the assembly. And what I'm going to do, oh, we display. Here we go. I'm just going to make them invisible. I we just don't need to be seeing all that stuff. The lattice is not bothering me too much, and the little main mover here is not bothering me too much. All right. So what you saw there a moment ago was this weight map we have here. This weight map right now is going to control the closing of that eyelid. All right, for our purposes that we're just going to be using this eyeball to get some pretty pictures in Mo Moto after we're done in ZBrush, uh, we don't have to do it too detailed, right? It just needs to work a little bit, right? And this is going to work a little bit. Uh, let's see, I've got this ready. This should work, right? A little bit of work, a little bit of extra time and effort, a person could get this thing to close up with this bottom lid right along that center line. But again, this is really not what we're uh, working at today. Right, we're just trying to get something that works within a few little bit of uh, parameters just so we can get some pretty pictures made. And we'll see what happens a little bit later with that, right? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn uh, turn that off. We don't need to see that. All right, but these are the weight maps. We get rid of, ready to do all of this stuff, right? So what I'm going to do is go into my vertex maps. And where is that? Is this it? There's the bottom one. There's the top one I made, right? Oh, let's go ahead. I'll show you both of those. We can almost get these things to shut, close pretty well. Again, more work, and you can get it to go really nice and flat. But this is not what we're going to be using this for. We're really going to be having this thing opened most of the way. And the final pieces and stuff, right? You can see that little weight map down there? I was playing with that and experimenting a little bit later. And see what happens right there, huh? Kind of interesting things you can do with just playing with how your weight maps are going to work. It puts a little kind of a suction on part of that, depending on how far down you go. You can see it right there. Just that one line of uh, vertexes. Just a little bit less weight. So when it pulls, they le get left behind can be kind of an interesting effect. Okay, but anyway, that's really not what we're going to do today, right? I'm going to get these weight maps set up. Uh, let 
let's see I got this one this one all right now do it clear okay clear okay let's make sure we got these things set up right okay I got collect these mixed if I go back to zero that's this resting point that's right where those things are gonna stay all right I guess to be honest with you I guess we don't need that lattice right now we're not gonna be playing with any of that Alright, so far so good. Let me see. We got this, we got that. Okay, they're looking okay to me. Uh, let's see. Gotta get this guy ready right about there. Alright, let's see. Now then, if you look, the final result, it looks pretty nice with this nice beveled line here. Alright, it looks really nice. But. For our purposes, when we get a little bit later involved into this project, what will happen is I'm probably going to do something more like this. I bring that line, I just slide that line in a little bit. You kind of see what happens. That's going to be more like the line that we're going to be using on the final or, or, the, or the final piece be a little bit more like that right, it's not gonna be that sharp beveled edge okay but anyway uh, let me kind of undo that stuff and uh, I'm about ready to get started okay here we go uh, I'm just getting the interface set up showing you where I start from cursor will be a little bit choppy and kind of jumping around a bit because I got things sped up because uh, I guess your time is valuable so I don't want you to have to watch me doing this in real time I'm just showing you that button over there toggles my weight maps which is that button after the O key okay those are the initial weight maps come down and clear those out we start from scratch we don't really need to see the schematic right now so I move that out of the way we get my weight palette up so we can have some access mainly to that smooth selected button you'll notice there I really don't need that action center up but the fall off uh, I've got that up just so you can see what happens okay turn off the eyeball I'm going to go to a straight left hand. I go into vertex mode, grab those vertexes. Now I'm just checking to make sure I've got the entire set. Okay, so now uh, what am I going to do? We set up the fall off. And again, read that note I just put up there. Sometimes that work plane and the snapping can be a little bit wonky. But I want that Z axis start and end to be at zero All right so I show the weight map so I can see what's happening go to the left hand side so I just got a good good look at it and uh, right now I'm only working with the linear fall off but all of those fall offs you see listed there can have a drastic effect on how you're playing with your weight maps depending on your situation they all have an effect that you can notice if you've got your weight maps showing especially those numeric values give you a good idea what's happening the colors are great but those numbers are best and uh, just as a reminder remember it's the vertex or the vertexes that get the number not the polygons all right so placement on polygons is just a visual thing it's the vertexes that get the numbers. So you'll see what happens here in a minute. So I'm going to go over here shortly after I get this kind of set up. Then I'm just going to smooth select it over on the weight panel. See that? That was just one. Go do it again and go do it again. But it also smooths that spot right there. So, Because really, right now, to be honest with you, 
I could have quit and stopped and moved on to the next one. For our purposes, that right there was going to work fine. But I'm just going to play with it a little bit more to let you know that there's more you can do if you want, depending on your needs. And just another example of how to use that linear fall off in a moment. So I'm going to select that line of uh, polygons. Go back to this. Again, there's that note. Keep an eye on that. Zero. I wanted those zero, zero on that Z. Or actually, not the Z, the X. Okay, so now you're going to see how I can use the, just moving that fall off around, I can tweak that position really nice. Watch, here comes another smooth selected. And then tweak it back into position again. But again, you're going to notice that's going to be a little bit too much. Once I start twisting this around the way I intend to in the uh, final stages, you'll see that's just a little bit too much. Check out that node in yellow. It'll probably default to world. So I did a smooth selected to see how that was going to look. You see now that there's still just a little bit too much on those corners, I think. So I did another smooth select. It's coming. Again, there's just that reminder going to kick in so you remember that. I'm going to kick the eyeball so I can kind of see what's happening, make sure nothing's too crazy. Now that right there is about right. Okay, I turned my locators on, but it's uh, the colors are set up for the, this background, so I needed to turn that back on. Okay, so that works. I set the Y to one meter. It's a giant eye. Again, there's another reminder about that. If you don't do that, I'd get uh, uh, double transforms on my weights. Or those, actually, the, the effectors. So right now, I'm just testing this out to make sure it's going to be okay. I'm not going to get too crazy in the final piece, but I want to have some options uh, later on after we start uh, getting into... Uh, all right, into and out of ZBrush. Okay, now I select those. I put them back, whoa, oops. Back to 0.5, I think, yeah. That's right here is my default stage. This is where I kind of do everything. This is the zero points. Okay, I wasn't able to get all of it because that top is not rotated back to zero. So I go back to zero in those positions, go back to default. So really I'm going to do a, almost exactly the same thing here. Make sure I'm on the bottom one. Set my linear. There, see that note there? See how that changed? So I had to be careful with that and make sure it's all the same. The bottom one's not so critical. Especially once you see it stretched out. When it's all stretched out, though, that back of the eyelid flows right into position. Stretched out with the uh, lattice, that is. So I'm just making sure nothing's going to get too crazy. But the weight map gradient there tells me that's going to be pretty smooth. Look what I'm doing. I'm actually adjusting the rotation value. That's why it didn't move. So 
different. I'm just showing you that it kind of works with the uh, lattice in position now. Right here, you just slide that edge around and you can uh, put a nice little curve on the eyelid which is pretty much where we're going to use it. That's about right where it's at now. Again, with this lattice now, we've got the basic of a really cool little cartoon eye. You can put this into a lot of different positions, squish it, flatten it, and those two weight maps will follow because of the order of deformations. Again, there's that note again. Those two rotators are set to local. That lattice is set to, what is it, uh, world. I'm not sure if that would matter. I didn't check. But I was getting double transforms on the rotation effectors when I was moving it around with the main mover. Yum, yum.